And hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to turn on a brand new video for tutorials of GS. Today's tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about copyright notices and how to avoid any copyrights that may be on your YouTube videos, how to avoid them by using the correct type of music, how to actually find good sounding music, and uh, give you some resources that you can use. Now, as we know, whenever we add a song to one of our YouTube videos that isn't ours and we basically just download it from somewhere, more than not, you're most likely going to get included copyright content on your video, which you see right here in one of my videos here that's quite old. And whenever you click this, it'll tell you that this music was, was, uh, was claimed by someone and you're not licensed to use it, which means all the money that you make on this video will be given to the claimant, the company who claims this song. However, there are ways to avoid this so that you don't get copyrighted anymore and you could use good sounding music in your videos. There are several resources I'm going to show just a few and I'm also going to show you how to see before you even upload a video how you can see if a song is going to be copyrighted or not. Now before I go ahead and uh, jump into all of that. I want to advise you to get a, a um, extension for Chrome that's called TubeBuddy. It's a great uh, YouTube resource whether you're a content creator or not. Uh, it's more useful for content creators though and I imagine if you're watching this you're a content creator. Here's their official website if you want to take a look at it and see what features you get. Several of them. But I would just go ahead over to the uh, Chrome store and get the TubeBuddy extension here. Go ahead and download it and you'll be ready to use it. I'm not sure if uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox has an equivalent. But if they do, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below so others can know about it. Because I don't use those browsers. But once you have that, you should be good to go. Now, I'll, I'll explain why we need TubeBuddy in a second. But generally, if you want to use music... You want to use royalty free music or copyright free music. Now you could do this several ways. You can either Google this by just typing in copyright free music or typing in royalty free music. And there are several websites that will allow you to use their music for free in your videos. Countless amounts of websites. Uh, one that I tend to go to sometimes, and here's an example. You can go to Ben Sound and they'll have a wide variety of music. You can go ahead and preview them here. You can download them here, but before you do any of this, most importantly, you want to make sure you look at the section on their website called licensing. And this will basically tell you how you can use this music and what you have to do. This website, for example, requires you to credit the owner with the song title and with their website here. So you have to have this somewhere in your video or in your description crediting this website for their work. Other websites may not require you to even put this in the description, but always make sure when you're using a website, look under the licensing tab and make sure you do as they say. Once you have that done, you can pretty much download whatever you want from here and you can use it in your videos and you should not get copyrighted. I have done this in several of my videos and it works just fine. Now, if you don't want to use that other method, you want to use a more safe method, and this one will pretty much guarantee you that you don't get copyrighted, but the music variety is uh, is not that high, and some of the songs don't, and some of the songs don't really sound that amazing. However, in a lot of my videos, I have used the YouTube audio library. In the same way, you can preview songs here. <laughs> And you can download them right here. You can even see which songs are very popular that a lot of people have downloaded. And you can categorize them by genre and by instrument and mood as well. And mood is a pretty accurate way to find what type of song you're looking for. They also have another section here. If you click on top here, they have some more popular songs. And it basically tells you how you can use them. Most of the time, though, these are all going to say you can use the song, but the uh, copyright claimant will get all the money from your YouTube videos. So why would you want to do that anyway? So you either have the YouTube audio library here, which you can use all the music for free, or you can use a, another website where you can use all the music for free, too. However, one other way 
and I think this is one of the best ways to get music is just by looking for a channel that uploads copyright free music. For example, I have several channels here that upload non copyrighted free music. Uh, one of them that I love to go to, that I've been going to for a while now, is actually here it is Activity Music, and all of their music is basically uh, music that they've asked the artists to use. These people have actually messaged the artists asking if they can distribute their music for free use and they basically upload all of their music here. And the music is fairly good. So they also have a wide variety of music here and all you have to do for this uh, for for the YouTube audio library, by the way, you don't need to put any credits in your description. But once again, for this method, you do have to put credits. Uh, they'll ask you to, it says it right here in the description, you have to copy and paste this little box at the bottom here to give credit to the artists, which isn't very hard to do at all. And you can just download this very easily. The way you can download this easily, sometimes the links don't work in the description to download. So what you may want to do is use a website called YouTube to MP3 Converter, which is this site right here. And in this little box here, you just have to copy and paste the song. So for example, here's the link, copy, we paste it in here, click convert video, and it'll start processing the video and you can download it from here then as an MP3 if the link in the description doesn't work and sometimes it doesn't work. So I generally use this all the time. Now, if you don't want to use uh, this channel, there are several other channels that do a pretty good job at releasing music such as no copyright sounds i tend to go to them too they also have a wide variety of music and um, another one i like to go to is this guy right here uh reeve music also another good one but just when you're doing this make sure that the music is actually not copyrighted and here's where TubeBuddy comes into play a lot of times the songs that you find in these videos truly are non-copyrighted. I've only run into a problem one time where I've used a song and it was stated to be non-copyrighted, but I still got copyrighted. So obviously the YouTube audio library and other copyright free websites are more accurate rather than using YouTube videos that say they're non-copyrighted when they could be copyrighted. So how do we, make sure things are not copyrighted on YouTube for us to use. Well, here's where TubeBuddy comes into play. Say you wanted to use a song from No Copyright Sounds, right? And if we click one of their songs here, we can go ahead and click Stats here. And this is if you have TubeBuddy. So when we click Stats here, you'll see that you'll get an Owned By box here. And generally, when you see something that says owned by and then a company name here, it generally means you're going to get copyrighted. However, um, sometimes this owned by is just the, the branding group or the partner group that this channel is part of. So to make sure that this isn't really a company owning the song, you can go to other songs from that channel and see if they're owned by the same thing. As you see, CDS Music, uh, this one, and this one's also CDS Music. You see CDS Music. So that means this channel is simply owned by CDS Music or, well, it's partnered with CDS Music. That's why you're seeing this. So this music is good to use. Another way to see if you can use the music is, for example, if we go to Reeve Music here, and this is what you want to look for. If we take a look at stats here, when it says this channel, that means that you can freely download this the same way with YouTube Converter, just copy and paste the link. If the if the download description if the download in the description doesn't work, then you want to use YouTube Converter. But when you see this channel, that means nobody has copyrighted this video. And if they're using the song without copyright, then you can use the song without copyright. And sometimes a lot of songs will have this this channel. However, let's say you want to use a song that is copyrighted for example um let's see I, I i'm sure I, I know that this guy has a few songs that are copyrighted let's see okay so for example here we have one that said once again it says copyright free instrumental right 
However, when you click stats, you'll see it's owned by WMG. And if you know anything about copyright, WMG, UMG, and all these brand names are the ones who are copyright claiming. If you're unsure, you can always click the brand name here, the company name, and it'll bring you to their website. And this is obviously a big copyright claimant because they apparently own a lot of the music. So when you see something like that, you'll see that this is copyright claimed. And as it says copyright free music, it's not really copyright free music. You're still going to get copyrighted. So this is why TubeBuddy is such a great asset because you're able to see which songs you can use. Now, like I said, if you see um, a company like, um, I don't know, uh, CDS Music and all their videos on that channel say CDS Music, then it just means that that channel is partnered with CDS Music. It doesn't mean that their videos are being copyrighted. But if you see that, as we just saw, this video has WMG, all the other ones don't have WMG. That means WMG is not the partner of this channel. This is literally a company claiming this song as copyright. So that's the use of TubeBuddy there. And that's pretty much all the ways you can gain free music. Either use TubeBuddy, search YouTube, and just keep on checking to see if there's a company here that's claimed as copyright. If not, you can download it. You can use royalty free and copyright free music sites like this. Just make sure you read the licensing and you can download it and use it for free. Or if you want to go to super safe way, you can use the audio music library and just download it and use it for free as well. I've used a combination of all three of these. I've used audio library songs. I've used copyright free music songs and I've used uh, songs from other channels and I've made sure they're not copyrighted by using TubeBuddy. Either of them work and uh, hopefully you find use to that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and it's brought some light onto the whole copyright free music stuff and audio and all the other crap. And um, hopefully it's brought some light onto the subject and you're a lot more informed about it now. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. We have plenty of other content on the channel, different tutorials, different informative videos. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so. I think you'll find a lot of stuff helpful there. If you have any questions or comments or any confusion, you can leave a question down in the comments section. If you're unsure if you can use a song, you can link it to me in the comments section. I'll take a look at it myself and I'll tell you if it's copyright free or not. If you're not too sure yourself, I'll even do that for you. But uh, other than that, thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how to videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out and if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too, really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. This is GS Man Smart and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.